I weighed myself and you guys, I lost. Hey guys and welcome back to our channel. This video is some serious health and wellness motivation for you guys. Do you ever feel the foundations of law and order have collapsed. What can the righteous do? But the Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord still rules from heaven. All in vain. So you guys know that the first thing I like to do is to read my Bible and meditate and just basically focus on my day, focus on my goals, how am I going to achieve those goals and try to tell myself that I am worth it, that I am worthy and I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So that is what I do in the morning. After that, I like to go on to my Instagram and my YouTube. This is my YouTube right now though and I like to just, you know, reply back to the comments and talk to you guys because I love talking to you guys so much. It makes me feel so close to you guys because I know for most of you guys we are far apart and it just makes me feel con more connected to you guys and I just love that feeling. After that I like to go on my Instagram and like all the pictures that you know the people that I'm you know following and also too I love to listen to like motivational speakers. I, there's a couple of motivational speakers that I know now on Instagram and I will put them in the description box below. You guys have to follow them. They're amazing. You are not an accident. You are not a mistake. You are not a failure. You were put here for purpose, on purpose, to achieve purpose. How are you guys? Um, I just wanted to, you know, vlog for you guys today and post another video so you guys know that I'll be posting three times a week. Um, that is the goal for 2021 is to be consistent and post three times a week for you guys. So now I'm basically just like getting ready. I didn't brush my teeth. I didn't wash my face and do anything yet because I want to get my workout done first. So I'm going to get my workout in. Um, I'm going to do a 20 minute workout. Um, from Leslie Sanson and honestly I woke up this morning with like doubt of doing it I'm like do I want to do this workout like I worked out um, you know so far so far since the year started four times already like I don't need to work out again but you see that's just like the negative sabotaging energy that lives within us and I'm like no like let me just like squash that thought right now and like do what I said I need to do. When I was thinking that, I was like, instead of me thinking like, oh, I gotta work out, oh, I gotta do this, I gotta do that, I started thinking to myself like, you know, like, like turn those negative thoughts into positive thoughts. So I started thinking like, oh, I can't wait to work out. Even if I was lying to myself, like, <laughs> I just said it because eventually like my brain will believe it, you know? So I'm like, oh, I can't wait to work out, I can't wait to feel good, I can't wait to get stronger. I'm excited to work out with Leslie Sanson. I'll feel great later. I do it now. I don't have to think about it for the rest of the day. So I started thinking about those things and it made me feel a lot better. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get my workout clothes on and then I'm going to work out because that's what we do 2021, okay? <laughs> we work out, we get our goals done, and we get it popping. <laughs> I got my workout in. I did 30 minutes plus. Yes, I know. I pat on my back. <laughs> I did 30 minutes plus, you guys. I feel so good. Like, 
I'm telling you, I'm so happy that at the beginning of my workouts, I literally went from 15 to 20 to 30 because I feel like if I started off with 30 minutes the first day of my workouts, I would have quit. Because this workout was pretty hard, but I felt like a little bit more like I had energy and like I was stronger because I've been doing the 15 minutes and then going to 20 and now 30. So I'm so happy that I gradually did that and I didn't just jump into 30 minutes. We're around the world together, so often the way. that I got it done you guys oh my gosh <laughs> I burnt like I burned 468 calories like I feel so good you guys I'm so proud of myself um, oh my gosh and I weighed myself this morning because the last time I weighed myself was on the 28th of December yeah 20th of December because that's when I really started I wanted to give myself like a head start before the new year started and I weighed myself and you guys I lost 14.6 pounds so far 14.6 pounds so far you guys like I feel so good and I put like a fire in my belly to show me like Janiel yeah you see you can do it like you don't have to uh, what do you call it go to these like extreme diets and like I'll do all these extreme things to lose this weight like I totally forgot like I don't know what it was I was in like fast mode like I just wanted to like jump chapters and get right back to my smallest weight again that's why I was doing all those extreme things but this is showing me like yes all you have to do is have patience be disciplined and um, be consistent and also to workouts like workouts are so important and like drinking your water and just like eating healthy like wholesome foods I haven't been like eating anything crazy like wholesome foods you guys you know cuz I'm on like I'm not doing keto I'm on like a really 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 low carb diet so like I swear it's like borderline keto you know what I'm saying but yeah so like I do eat some keto meals but like Sometimes I will have like a really low, low carb meal. So I just feel so good, you guys. 14.6 pounds. Like I am shook. <laughs> I'm going to uh, post on my Instagram, take a shower, come back, fold this laundry, and um, yeah, go downstairs and start baking with Jenna and cooking with Jenna because she's waiting for me to bake with her. So yeah, guys, <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. We can run the world. Well, let us run. So now that I got out the shower, I feel super clean and so refreshed. <laughs> I'm going to put on one of my favorite YouTubers right now. Her name is Tara Henderson. I love her and her family. They are so motivating, so cute, so sweet. Like I just, oh my God, I love watching her so much. So I'm watching Tara Henderson as I fold some laundry. And you know, I'm just thinking about it right now. And I'm like, you know, I remember I was telling you guys that I really wanted to just not focus on my weight and more focus on health. Because like if I focus on my health, then the weight loss will come. And that's so true. Um, I'm realizing like me right now focusing on just basically working out to make my body stronger, eating wholesome foods to, you know, nourish my body and to give my body the vitamins and the nutrients that it needs. I feel like when I'm doing that, not thinking about weight loss, but more thinking about making my body healthy then the weight loss definitely does come because I would be lying if I said I didn't want to lose weight I do want to lose weight I gained a lot of my weight back you guys from the last two years especially last year from the whole pandemic going on I know me at the weight that I'm at right now is not a healthy weight and it's not a weight where I feel comfortable at so I'm so happy that I'm like changing my shift on how I think and more thinking about my you know my health and wellness basically than more so weight loss but i mean that is a plus too <laughs>
something about making your bed i'm telling you when you make your bed every day like right now i'm looking at the video it's probably around like 4 going on to 5 p.m but i still had to make my bed because i feel like when you make your bed it just makes you feel so much more productive for the rest of the day and also too who doesn't like to go on a nice like nicely made clean bed at the end of the night i love that feeling Hi, Jenna. <laughs> I ready to bake and cook. <laughs> Hi, Alva. Hi. What are you doing? Hi. 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 Are you moving now? Gosh. Hi, Rainbow. Hi, Rainbow. <laughs> you have a nice nap? You sleep okay? okay. Yeah. Yes, Aw, he's so cute. But he's such a troublemaker. He only slept for like 20 minutes. Really? That's barely a nap. Yeah, that's not. Oh my goodness. <laughs> hey guys, so I'm here preparing another tasty meal for you so here I'm just making a uh, stuffed chicken and I'm stuffing it with cauliflower and kale and I'm just adding in some jalapeno because you know I love spice and I think my whole family likes spice except you know for the kids but yeah um, this turned out really really well it's very tasty I personally didn't like it too much but my sister said it tastes amazing so I don't know what she's talking about but <laughs> I guess because you guys know that I like to pan fry my stuff, you know, so I feel because I just baked it, maybe for me that that savory taste didn't come out as much as I would like it to, but it was all good though. Okay, so now that I added in all my veggies together and cream cheese, I'm just adding my spice. You guys know that I love to season everything to the tea when it comes to my food. So I'm just here mixing it all up and I decided to use my hands because, you know, I don't mind getting them messy, but I find that the, the spoon wasn't working for me. So, you know, my hands were clean, so don't come for me with that. And yeah, that stuffing is good on its own. Like it tasted so, so good. So it definitely went well with the chicken. Okay, so I just seasoned up my chicken. I basically used most of the seasonings I used in um, the dip. Um, I did add some mustard to the chicken. I think that gives it a nice little tangy taste. And I'm here stuffing up the chicken and it was kind of hard because the, the pieces weren't that, you know, voluptuous. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to like try to make it work and then I used the toothpicks to kind of just close it together and yeah it turned out pretty well all in all
back on how I used to be I always thought the love was made for me Oh well I was just as blue-eyed as the sky could ever be Loving you has made me realize I'm so tired of love So the chicken is done. It came out super, super moist and very, very tasty. And remember, everything will be listed down below. Advice there is, and none of it has helped. I'm so tired of love songs. Sick and tired of love songs. I'm so tired. Okay guys, so here I wanted to make a little bit of a dessert, so I'm making some cream cheese cookies. I looked at a whole bunch of recipes online and I found the one that was good enough for me and I obviously I tweaked it a little bit to make it my own. And these cookies came out so moist, so delicious. You can taste the cream cheese in it. It was amazing. Chef's kit. <laughs> it was really really good i've been looking at you all night trying to figure you out i just want to make you smile hold your hand in my hand looking at the sunset man you're looking good tonight i want to kiss you before the sun goes down it's what you do Okay guys, so now I'm just scooping out the cookie batter and it is so soft and I was tasting the batter I was, as I was going along and it, you can eat the bowl, like it was so so good. Um, I did space them out a little bit because I wasn't sure, because how soft it was, I wasn't sure how much it would spread. They did spread a little bit bigger than what you see on the screen and when they're finished baking, you guys have to remember to let it completely cool because they will fall apart because it's so soft. It's what you do. Okay guys, so I'm gonna try her cookies because, what the heck is this? Oh, I think because I was leaning on something. I was leaning on a glass table. But yeah, I'm gonna try her cookies. Huh? Very soft and moist. I hope she'll be good, guys. <laughs> this is the first time I'm trying her cookies. I want to try it on camera because I want to give you guys a real, you know, authentic. It's so buttery and like. Whoa, this is so good, you guys! It tastes like the hint of the cream cheese. And this is keto? This is 100% keto. Hello? 
Cookies, you know? Yeah, but now I have to really watch myself with these cookies because I feel like I could overdo it with these cookies. They're so good. What's the serving size? <laughs> All right, guys, so that is the end of the video. We hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope you make the chicken and the cookies because you will love it. All right, guys, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Bye.